Hey Genesis Fit Family, it's Janan Tufti, your Regional Group Exercise Manager here in Nebraska. And today we are going to be doing an intermediate bar routine. So intermediate because it's 45 minutes and we also have uh, optional weights involved with this workout. So if you have a bar at home, great. If not, you can use a chair or even your kitchen counter. And again, if you have some handheld weights, you could use those or some paint cans or water bottles, anything that you have available that will give you a little extra resistance. So the best thing I can tell you to do is have a positive attitude and get ready to sweat.
Last time. All right, find that nice big grand plie. We're gonna hold this isometric stretch right here. Open up the arms. Right now you should feel those legs nice and warm. Can you go a little deeper? Nice work, you guys. All right, pull that up. You have a few seconds here. You want to use that bar or that chair or the counter to get a little extra stretch work here. Completely optional. Depends on how your body is doing. We're going to start to move on into the meat of our workout. Now, one thing I will tell you is have some fun, you guys. <laughs> These home workouts are made to do anytime you need them. So we're gonna dig into this, get a little more work into that midsection and that lower body. So I'm gonna show you from the side what this looks like. So those feet are in that parallel position, but you're going to lift up into a little bit. Then you're going to sink your bottom back just a little bit. Tuck and tilt. So you're going to notice right away, those thighs might start shaking, those calves might start burning, and that's okay. Alright, we're going to change this up, shake your hips. Now those arms really can do whatever you want them to do. Your focus here is hips, thighs. If that feels good and you want a little more, speed it up. Again, that's just an option. Belly button in, chest tall. Break, number one. Shake out those legs, they should be tight. We're gonna go back in, we're gonna go a little higher, and a little lower. So prepare either forward or to the side. Lift tall, sink a little deeper. So if you zoom in, you can see my leg is already shaking. That's okay, you guys. That's called your bar shake or your bar wake. Totally normal as those muscles try to figure out what we're doing. What if the legs are uncontrolled and you need some help? You come up. Otherwise, stay in that deep, nice position here. What if those ankles are a little crazy? You can sink down. You just gotta go a little more. Get ready. Shake those hips. Now I want you to think, this is about the hip, the outer thigh, and even into those obliques. No knees. All right, option, speed it up. Otherwise, slow, slow, slow. Give me four, three, two, take your break. Shake it out. Ready to go in again? Relevant. Can you go a little deeper, tuck? Or, Right there. How you doing guys? Shake the hips. If you want. Woo! Who needs a break? Those legs should be vibrating you guys. We're not done. Woo! Catch your breath. Relevant. Lift. Sink. Let's go. And breathe. Moving through that pelvis. Isolating those calves. Keep going, keep going. Take 
that little break, little break. All right, guys. We're gonna start moving through. I'm gonna change spots on the bar here, just so I can make sure that I work with my right leg first. All right. Nice and tall. We are gonna need some support with balance here. Shoulders back, chest up, toes out. Nice plie. Now, you can add plie, passe, plie, passe. Give me two more. Now we step forward, low to high, back, middle. So your option, of course, is to keep that grounded. And again, those arms really can be whatever you need. All right, plie passe, right here. Or, no, you really have so many options in a bar class, depending on what you need today. And maybe in a few days when you do this workout again, it'll be different. Options. And breathe. Zip that belly button in. Two more. I want you to face that surface. Or the bar or the chair. Give me a nice big deep grand plié there. From the side, we've done this move already. Can you go a little deeper? 
again. So, whew. all right, balancing it is optional. You're gonna take those feet out, heels together, one arm on, take that right leg back, lift it straight back. I'm gonna show you from the side. This one really isolates those gluteals, that hip flexor. Listen, hold it back, pulse it up. Lift, lift. Now, if that forearm is on the bar, that's okay. Just make sure you don't lean into it. Stay tall. Listen, hold it back, extend, out, in. I want it to feel like you're pushing through mud. Make sure you squeeze every part of that leg. Abs tight. Back in, please. Quick. I'm going to flip just to the side. Four, three, slow down. Here we go. Every time you hit the top, I want you to really squeeze that medial muscle. How's that cheek feeling? <laughs> squeeze. Then squeeze. We've got our last four. We flip or turn or move around. Here we go. Back, down. Now you'll notice I have some different options on the leg. It can be right at the back of your knee. Mid-calf, it can be low, hold it, pulse, pulse, pulse. Working through the hip flexors, working through the groin muscle. Always abs, always chest, back and shoulders. In four, three, slow, extend. Nice work, everybody. Long spine, tall, in and up. Quick. I'm gonna flip around. Last two, slow. Again, really think about squeezing that nice big round gluteal muscle. Abs in, chest up. Keep it moving. Last two. All right, listen, we're gonna work a little releve. So every now and then, we throw in these challenges for you. I want you to lift. Yes. All right, listen, One, lift and hold. Everything is tight, zip those heels together. Do it again. A single, a single. Now lift and hold. Keep going. So not only is it your balance challenge, whew, it's focusing on those calves, focusing on the hips, focusing on everything. Take a break, take a break. All right. Oh, we're not done. We got it again. Reset that posture. Zip those heels together. Here we go. Single. Single. Now hold it. And down. Squeeze. Every muscle is squeezing. Hold. Come on.
Now I'm going to move my bar just a little bit here because we're going to need some space on this one. So make sure you have enough distance to be able to fully extend your leg. I want you an arm out. Go ahead and open up those toes. We're going to start with Deja -de or slow lift.
water bottles, whatever you got, grab those for me. I'm gonna go back on to the right side. We only need one weight. Nice and tall, start with a curl. Abs in. Now we're gonna add an attitude. Now options, you can cross that attitude. Just the attitude. So it's two moves that we put together. Add that curl. Here we go. Something different. Take it behind. Shift forward and up. Perfect. So we got some shoulder work, some bicep and tricep. With that hip, outer thigh. And of course, obliques. Toes pointed always. All right, we got to switch. It's quick already. So I want you to think, work out those muscles. You have your bicep. Of biceps, triceps, 
and shoulder work. You can take those feet into that natural wide position. Find me some curls. Abs in, always. Listen, turn it out, lateral raises. Should say lateral curls.
or even, we call it down and dirty, keeping that chest lifted though. Listen, come up. You're gonna work back. So this is the second move. Let me show you from the side. You're seated in that big bum plie. You're pressing back. Keep going, so it's a small, small movement. Working through hips and thighs, and again, you can play with that level. Listen, break, shake it up. All right, you know that means we're not done. So, we go back to that plie. And again, guys, challenge yourselves. The good news is we're almost done. 45 minutes flies by when you're having fun. So can we play a little deeper here? All right, come back up to the top. Work it back. Work, work. Now, if you need a little help, you still have to have those legs bent, but you work it back right there. Otherwise, you dig in and you play. Working those hip flexors, working the gluteals. Or again, right here. Take a break, take a break. How you doing guys? You got a little more? We're about halfway through. This song, this song. <laughs> Let's go. Now, even though we're working the legs, sit in that belly, keep that chest tall. Now, if you wanted to, you can play with those arms a little bit. That's totally up to you guys. <laughs> Focus on that bottom. Make sure whatever you do at the top, though, it is strong. All right, sink it, work. And again, I want you to play with those different level options, you guys. Dig in, dig in, deep, inner thigh, outer thigh, keep going. And again, a reminder, we want to keep everything safe. So make sure you're not here. You're gonna stay tall, sink, and open the legs to that wide, that wall behind. Four, three, two, take a little break. Whew. All right, we're going in again. Here we go, I'm gonna do some arms this time. Forward crunches. 
keeping in mind again, it really is just that standing crunch. While we're crunching, I'm going to move to this other side. But first, I'm going to sneak in and say hi. <laughs> Keep it crunching. Crunch and crunch. All right. Here we go. Nice and tall through that midsection. Just lift it. Last one. Add that knee. Beautiful. Last two. Extend that leg. I want you to think that entire midsection is working. Last two. Quick pulses right here. I want you to feel that pinch between that rib and that last rib and hip right there. All right, listen. Woo. Now, if you want to bring that weight down, that's totally fine. I want the focus right here. Squeeze, squeeze. Now we're going to stay in the center. Right leg, left leg. Again, you have that option to extend that work, but keep your belly button tight. Option to extend. I want you to think, you never look down. Those legs have to come to you. You continue, whether it's crunches, knees, or legs, or a mixture. Do you hear it? It's changing. Right arm. Here we go. Keep that nice and tall, you guys. Switch it, switch it. We're going back to the front. You choose your option. Listen up, reach it tall. Give me a little stretch here. I want you to pull the abs in. Get that little extension, open up that chest. Release those hips. I want you to set that weight down. All right, we're gonna move into our final track today, and it is a stretch. So I want you to keep in mind, whether you have a bar, whether you have a chair, whether you have your couch or your kitchen counter, you can use any of those options to deepen these stretches. All right, so I want you to go ahead and take those toes turned out in that nice first position. We're essentially going to finish the same way we started, in a nice plie. Now I want you to roll those shoulders back. Roll them forward. All right, I want you to take it out. I want you to sink, 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 and hold. I want you to take that bottom up and stretch. Bring those elbows back, sink again. And start to pull it up. Now, we're not done. We're gonna go back and do the same thing. This time, roll. All right, give me two more. We're gonna take it back out to that big round plie. Right here, four down, and then hold in that stretch. Here we go. Four, three, two, hold, flip, and dip it up. 
Do it again. Four. Hold. Flip. Come on up. Again. Take that nice big sink. Hold and flip. And pull. Last time. Down. Hold. Flip. All right, listen. I want you to roll it all the way up. I want you to find that bar. This time I want those feet parallel. I'll show you. We're just going to get a nice little stretch on those calves. All right, listen, I want you to hold it up. Hold it up. Those calves should be tight, yes? Listen, heels down, toes up. Again, whether it's the bar or the chair, don't pull on it. Just use it for a little balance. Switch, go up for two, down for two, back for two. Again. All right, I want you to take that right foot. I want you to pull it forward, toe up, and sink back. Get that nice stretch on the back side of the leg. Lift up and switch. All right, face that bar or chair or counter. Everything nice and tall. Take your forearms, place it on. I want you to sink back. I want you to really think about pressing the chest and the head through. Come on in that belly button. You're going to feel the stretch over your arms, through your shoulders, and of course down through those legs. All right. Thanks for working out with me today, you guys, and I will